Hey, I'm Hunt, and this is Hunt on LSU, your channel for LSU Fighting Tiger football talk. Enjoy the video. We want you to leave a comment below, hit that like button, and subscribe right below the video. Enjoy. I think a lot of you by now have seen the uh, the audio or video from Brian Kelly's press conference uh, last night. You've seen uh, him kind of banging on the table, and he was visibly frustrated with the way that his team uh, performed in, in multiple facets of the game uh, last night. He talked about his offense not doing enough to help the defense. He talked about the defense having warts, uh, and, and it's not a, a change that's going to be made overnight. Um, he talked about Garrett Nussmeyer. He talked about the team's killer instinct. He talked about a lot of different topics, but penalties uh, was one that he 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 brought up as well. Um, and you know, that's I, I'm generally pretty tepid on my my penalties takes, especially when it goes to pinning everything on the coach, because oftentimes I feel like guys just make mistakes and that's just part of the physical nature of the game. Like when LSU was atrocious on special teams a couple of years ago, just awful. Like I'm not going to blame the coach when you jump off sides on the kickoff. Like everyone knows the rule there. The coach is obviously communicate. Like I, I, that's just a guy screwing up and it happens. But um, some penalties are worthy of, of some significant criticism. And Brian Kelly uh, talked last night uh, about the 10 penalties that his team committed. Well, I mean, I've already commented on the two personal foul penalties. They impacted the game. And they're from veterans and, and from guys that know better and are leaders. And, and I, I have to look, look at myself and, and say, I, I have to do better because they're not getting the message. You know, we, we had the two penalties there. You know, clearly th that that impact, those those two penalties impacted the game. You know, we had a couple of false start penalties. Uh, we had a PI that, you know, I thought one was clearly a PI. The other one was, you know, could have gone either way. Ten is too many. Let's put it that way. Ten is too many. But two personal foul penalties that set up scores is unacceptable. Look, not all penalties are created equal. You, you reach out and hold somebody on the offensive line, you know, that's going to happen sometimes. I'm not going to blow a gasket. I hope you don't do it, but I'm not going to blow a gasket. What you can't have is Kyron Lacey firing off a gun in the end zone after a touchdown catch and costing you 15 yards, so then you have to kick it to Zachariah Branch and he busts it up to midfield. You can't do that. That's unacceptable. You can't have Major Burns in his fifth year of college football taking his helmet off on the field. That's just, that is so avoidable, and it's just not thinking. You, you can't do that. Get a 15-yard penalty there. Can't have it. Major Burns, again, coming on a blitz, and he jumps off sides and gives a free play to Miller Moss so he can chuck it up there, and it's a touchdown catch. That, that's, that's just not focusing. Again, there are some penalties that, that I, can, I can live with. I'm not... Super pumped that Will Campbell is getting a false start penalty, but he can't hear the quarterback. Like that's you know that's tough. But jumping off sides, we, there's no need for that. Taking your helmet off, no. Firing a gun in the end zone, no. You can't do that. And these are not freshmen who have been getting away with this their entire lives and are on the biggest stage they've ever seen. These are guys, as Brian Kelly just said, that have been out there for four and five years. You've Got to be smarter than that. Got to be smarter than that. You know, Jordan Gilbert gets a targeting foul. I'm not going to lose my mind over that. He's trying to make a play on the football. By the nature of that position, you're going to lead with your helmet. You can't tackle anybody. You're not allowed to trip people, so you have to move forward. And at times, it's a bang-bang play, and you're trying to make it down the sideline, and you get to helmet-to-helmet -helmet contact, and that sucks, and it's 15 yards, and he's got to sit out the first half. But that's a guy that's trying to make a play. Fired off a gun in the end zone is not trying to make a play. Taking your helmet off is not trying to make a play. And that stuff is frustrating. And, and quite honestly... Like, you can suggest that it's Brian Kelly's fault that these guys are acting this way on the field. But my instinct is to go, they're 22, 23 years old. Just keep your head. I don't think that has to be coached. Maybe a freshman who makes the biggest play of his life 
unknowingly takes his helmet off because you could do that in high school at some point, and he just didn't know the rule, and he should have, and that's that should have been communicated. Well, these guys have been around for four years, man. You know you can't take your helmet off on the field. Don't do it. I'm not going to lose sleep over the fact that LSU West Weeks told the guys to shift, and that shift caused the offensive line for Florida for Florida State for USC to move, and you got the discontent signals from the defense offsides. Like, I thought that was good play from LSU. I think you ought to be able to tell your defensive lineman to shift, and I thought that USC jumped, and that's the way it should be. But the rules say you can't do stuff like that, so there there you are. But that 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 penalty doesn't bother me. The other ones do. And they obviously bothered Brian Kelly. And if you're going to be, you know, the 2011 LSU Tigers, you can overcome that. If you're going to be Georgia, you can overcome that and beat teams by 30. This LSU team is not good enough to do that. And if you put yourself in adverse situations because you can't behave yourself on the field, you're going to lose games. I mean, it seems like no big deal that Kyron Lacey's doing the gunshot thing. But you back up, and instead of kicking it out of the end zone like you did every other time, Branch gets a chance to field it and busts a big one. He almost scored a touchdown. You know, great job in the first half for nine catches and scoring a touchdown, but don't do that. It just, it's just frustrating, and I'm sure Brian Kelly's really frustrated. I'm sure he'll have plenty to say about it when the team reconvenes, likely today, I guess, because it's, it's Monday. They would generally have Sunday kind of quote-unquote off to recover and do some of that stuff. But now in a game week on a Monday, they, they probably got to get out there and practice today. So um, tough. Can't have penalties. Got to clean it up. And uh, certainly can't have the ones uh, like LSU had. They're just completely and utterly unforced. And that's what you had last night far, far too often. Hey, thanks for watching Hunt on LSU. Before you get out of here, do us a couple of favors. Hit that like button. Leave your comments below and subscribe to the channel for all your fighting Tiger football talk. See you next time.